Hello guys, welcome to our new video. Today I, Jasleen Chabra, welcome you all to the Talent Battle once again. Today we have with us Mr. Sagar who has just been placed with LTI Mindtree and uh, this is his second company. So he is visiting us for the interview experience second time. Uh, you will uh, check out his uh, earlier video as well. So welcome you Sagar once again on Talent Battle. Yeah, thank you. We are feeling glad to have you here second time with the, the next company and that is the LTI Mindtree. He has been placed with LTI Mindtree with a package of 4.25 LPA. So Sagar, I would like you to first of all introduce yourself to our audience once again. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so yeah, I am Sagar Bhujan and I am from Kharagpur, West Bengal. I am currently a 2023 pass out batch from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. And the college is Haldia Institute of Technology. Yeah, I've placed in three companies, like uh, as earlier I, I already mentioned, like with Accenture, which was off campus, and uh, two on campus companies like LTI Mindtree and Cap Gemini, all with a package of 4.25 LPA. Good, great, Sagar. Nice to hear that that uh, three companies, uh, like that is good. So now you can choose like whichever you want to go for, right? Whichever is good for you. So, yeah, okay, right. Sagar. So, today Sagar is again with us to share his experience, like uh, what was his hiring experience with LTI Mindtree. So, I would like to request Sagar that uh, please be brief with the information and it would be uh, helpful for all those students who are preparing for this company and also to the candidates, those who are in process with LTI Mindtree. So first of all, as Sagar mentioned, it was an on-campus drive. So Sagar, how many rounds were there? First of all, tell us that. So in total, there were four rounds in LDI Mindtree. It was on campus. Okay. Uh, which one? Can you please name all the four rounds? Yeah, sure. So the first round was the, uh, like everything was online. So first round was the online assessment. Like we, they had the aptitude round. And the second round was the coding round. And that after that, it was the third round, which was the technical interview. And the last fourth round, which was the, uh, the HR interview. So yeah, that okay. was the all the four rounds. Okay. So uh, for on-campus interviews, uh, like this is the most asked question. Like uh, what were the criteria for the company? The hiring criteria before actually like sitting for the test. Like, uh, basically, they had, like, all over, like, 60%, like, higher secondary, secondary, and uh, up to <coughs> college CGPA was up to 60% right above, and no active backlog. Yeah, at, at the time by which I was applying, these were the criteria. Okay. So, how many students actually set for the drive? So they were like in from our college, it was like uh, all the branches were allowed. So around uh, 900 students sat for the interview, like for the first round, that is the aptitude round. And around uh, 200, around 300, 350 cleared the aptitude round. And around uh, 250 students were selected for the interview, like interview round. Okay. So let us start with the round one before uh, like... Uh... Let us uh, begin with the round one now. So as you mentioned, it was like an online assessment, right? Yeah. So like it was uh, most commonly it would be like aptitude round, right? So please uh, put some light on that. Yeah. So it was an complete online assessment, which uh, total time of around approximately 100 minutes or 100 minutes, 100 questions like that. And uh, questions were basically from like quant, quant, quantitative ability, logical ability, uh, logical reasoning, computer programming, come and other round, and other stuff, like mixed question all around. Okay. Anything else? Like there were hundred questions and hundred minute only, like one minute. Yeah, hundred questions. All... Yeah, hundred. Now, yeah, like uh, different sections had different timing. For example, the quantitative ability had 18 questions for around 20 minutes and the logical reasoning had around 18 questions for 20 minutes and similarly, computer programming had a little board like 25 questions for half an hour and at the end, there was one communication assessment 
which was uh, roughly around 22 30 minutes and yeah that was all for the first round okay so what are the important topics that one must prepare for clearing this online assessment like uh, most important the uh, quantitative and logical ability but like level one max to max level two there was uh, level two questions were more like a bit medium level questions and uh, mostly they were focusing on computer programming that like uh, they were lengthy the computer programming questions was a bit lengthy and uh, yeah com the com communication assessment was like good enough like 30 minutes like they continuously they were testing for how the communication skills are and uh, lastly yeah some of them questions from were from the english like grammar and reading comprehension yeah that was all okay okay that's all good so were you able to answer all the questions yeah i was able to answer nearly 80 percent of the questions i remembered because okay. we had to manage time mm -hmm. so like uh, we couldn't skip like uh, we couldn't like uh, come back to the previous question once we attempted one particular question okay so yeah we there was time limit also so i had to hurry a bit so you could not switch between the sections also no no section cut near yeah, section was not allowed at that time okay was there any negative marking no no negative marking for this particular uh, round okay okay so approximately like 80 percent of the questions you answered correctly as per your yeah. Uh, thing okay and like uh, what uh, is your suggestion to the student who is preparing for this round uh, what are the like major things he must remember before even starting the preparation or during the preparation yeah so practicing is more important like uh, we should definitely practice a lot like uh, there were a lot of reading questions like uh, to read the question properly then only we could answer the questions so yeah, without practice, it uh, wouldn't happen. Like uh, before starting the assessment, like I would uh, recommend to practice a bit and then go for it. Like without practicing, it will be difficult to manage time and all. Nice. Okay. So okay, when were the results declared for this first round? Yeah, results were uh, basically declared uh, like in two weeks for the first round, and after the second week, we were told. Uh, like who was selected for the second round okay so moving further to the second round now and as you mentioned like it was the coding round yeah so how it was and for like how many duration it was so like the coding round was for around 45 minutes okay we had only two questions but 42 questions for 45 minutes okay yeah and which platform did they use for the coding no, they had their own platform like no, yeah they had their own platform for coding like they gave uh, some like they gave a link to install a browser like okay. secure browser or some kind of so in that we had to give the exam so it was a completely different platform okay fine and uh, like you mentioned there were two coding questions so what was the level of coding questions yeah so the level of first question was a bit easy question like uh, normal uh, which they, the students normally practice that they would do easily the second question was uh, a bit lengthy and it required a little dynamic programming and uh, yeah data structures obviously the second question without data structures no one could solve that question like it was uh, we had to use some kind of uh, difficult logic to solve that question so the first question was easy and the second question required a bit of hard work so we could do that easily did you clear both the questions like both the test cases yeah yeah all the test cases were successfully ran okay and uh, within the that stipulated time yeah within stipulated time yeah like okay. at the end i had, had uh, 10 minutes remaining so. nice 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 okay. that's a help uh yes then it means like you have practiced a lot and with a good speed you completed both the questions uh, yeah okay. Do you remember the questions directly? Like what was the first question or on which topic it was based and what was the second question? Not exactly, but uh, remembering like one question was from string 
Okay. The second question was a numerics, like one like string. Like they was given a string, you had to do some changes in that string and then display it. Like first question was that. And uh, second question was based on some numbers, like there some numbers were given and you had to do something with that numbers. So it was like that. Okay. Okay. Good. Moving towards the third round now. So it was an interview round, right? Yeah, right. So, so the third round was how, yes, yeah. how it yeah, went. It was that. Yeah, it was the technical interview. Okay. So, so the interview lasted for around like 40, 30 to 40 minutes. Like in my case, it lasted for 30 to 40 minutes. So yeah, the they were like the the usually interview that like introduce yourself. And uh, then they asked they themselves asked like what was your preferred language? And okay. uh, they asked some questions based on that. And uh, then they jump to other questions so were the questions based on your resume also like did they go through your resume and ask you some specific questions related to your resume uh not exactly like it was a technical interview so they were more interested in the technical part so uh -huh. automatically like i am asking you like, yeah. like about your skill set or about your projects technical questions related to uh, your no. resume yeah no in in my case they didn't ask about the projects or skill set Okay. They were more focused on like uh, what language you are preferring, and upon, upon that language, they were asking which questions. language you followed for the interview. Like I told them, I had my my one mind language was C plus plus. Okay. So C plus plus was object oriented programming language. So they started question started asking questions from that, and so they asked what are what is OOPs, what are its four pillars, explain briefly each of them. And then they told to give some examples of the cons oops concept from everyday life, like uh, and and at the end they told me they you they asked that do you know any sorting algorithms mm -hmm. like from the dynamic like from the al uh, data structures and algorithms part. So they so I told yeah I know one of sorting algorithms that is the bubble sort. Mm -hmm. So they told like open the browser share your screen and uh, start doing one program based on bubble sort. Okay. So. Yeah, they asked me to share the screen, and I was uh, so they asked me, "Are you an, are you giving the interview in a laptop?" So I told yes. So yeah, they told they were like, "Open your notepad and just start typing one program." So they gave me around fifteen minutes uh, to do uh, one just one question of uh, one sorting algorithm, and yeah, they asked some questions based on that, and they were like, "Okay, okay." For how how long it went? The duration like this went yeah this went for like uh for 42 like 30 to 40 minutes okay any specific question like which which do you think you could not able to answer at that time any yeah, out of like the box at, at that instant uh, uh yeah at that instant they were like uh, one example from the oops that could relate to our everyday life mm -hmm. so at that time i couldn't get that question so I think if I had prepared that part well, then they could have answered that well. Okay, okay. And in many cases, uh, I have listened like from the students, like whenever they sit for the interview, at the end of the interview, it is the most common question asked by the interviewer, like, do you have any questions for us? Or like you, like the student asked to the interviewer. So was it yeah. happened in your case as well? Yeah, it also happened in my case. Like I asked, like, uh, like what should I uh, prepare before joining any company? I asked that mm -hmm. question, and uh, they were like, "No, we'll like before joining, we'll give you a training program, and there we'll teach you about a particular topic that you will be assigned to to work on." And they were like, "Yeah, it will go like this." Okay. okay. Nice. Okay. Any suggestion for clearing the technical interview? Like what must a student revise all the basics? I think right. Most of the questions were based on the basics, but uh, we would like to listen you from you your side. Yeah, yeah. This is the most problem, like, that most common question. Like many students do, they feel like they will be very tough with that level of questions. Mm -hmm. So they forget the so they ignore the basic part and start doing the tougher part. It's like the uh, tough level of questions. So I would recommend no. They are just checking your basic skills. 
in my case so basic like the concept uh, what we say that like the basics should be clear otherwise uh, they will they will easily catch like your basics are clear or not so very basic level questions they ask from whatever topic you're preparing just uh, keep clear the basics it will be go on very it will go very smoothly like the interviews okay okay and how many students actually cleared this third round so third round uh, approximately 200 students cleared uh, the third round and uh, after that we got call for the fourth round that is the hr interview okay like uh, what was the time duration taken between both the rounds yeah it uh, took around uh, one week like okay. it was on campus so there were many companies visiting so time taken was a little bit more or less compared to the off campus thing nice okay so talking about the fourth round that you mentioned like it was an hr interview so how it went yeah. what was all about yeah hr interview went quite smoothly like uh, they like it was a short interview like around 20 to 25 minutes okay yes yes continue like what were the question yeah. asked like uh, so again the questions were like firstly introduce yourself like uh, they like uh, the person clearly told that uh, i want to know only five points from you like not everything just five points your name where are you from like what is your educational background and uh, and your hobbies and one fourth and one last question was like uh, yeah uh, what is where 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 are you from and what is the what's more famous there like so most most well, like five questions okay like basically they're trying to i guess uh, ease them like like they were trying to uh, release the tension between the interviewer and the mm -hmm. candidate so, so i was also answer. completely shocked at, yeah i answered like i was also completely shocked at why they are asking so casually it was like that so yeah so it went like uh, where are you from and after i told i am from this particular place they were they were like oh like oh, nice very nice and what and level like what famous cuisines are there what would you recommend like uh, if i went to your place and if i have only two days with you like what do you recommend me so that kind of questions okay okay so uh, like it was mostly mostly based on your hometown uh, yeah so the first set of questions were based on this this kind of stuff okay later on like did they change yeah, and, the topic uh, or did they focus yeah, on later the on they changed the topic yeah later okay. on they were like later on they asked questions like uh, why do you want to join us okay and uh, like uh, are you willing to relocate mm -hmm. do you have any preferred location and at the end like uh, do you have any questions for us like like that nice so it was for only 20 to 25 minutes yeah okay so any any conditions by the company like this time uh, i didn't ask you about like uh, there were there any conditions like any bond period any service bond uh, no, at that time while I was applying, while I signed the letter of intent, there was no at such bond or, or service agreement at that time. Yeah, in my case, uh, well, like in the by the time I applied, uh, there were no such service agreements or bonds. Okay, and how many students actually got placed from your college? So from my college, around uh, one hundred and eighty students got placed, like from or like all the uh, package variations. Okay, okay. It's a good number, like 180 students is a good number. Okay, so that's all. Like it was the last in, last interview, last round. Yeah, that was the last round, the HR interview. Okay, nice. So, Sagar, like uh, what would be your overall uh, like experience or overall, if you have to summarize it, it in two, two, three sentences for a student like those who are preparing, what would be your suggestion? What would be your uh, success key? Like how to clear? Uh, yeah, like uh, the earlier I, what I told that I would repeat the same like uh, it was like uh, go on the from the basics like don't uh, push yourself to study the hard um, uh, like hard subjects like hard topics 
but uh, focus only basic school that, that that is what they are looking for and uh, apart from that uh, focus more on on interview preparation and like aptitude around coding round if you practice for around one hour in a day it's okay but uh, i would suggest to focus more on technical or uh, and, and technical or technical interview more i would suggest because uh, i in my in my in my, my colleagues were well, like my friends were like uh, they could clear apple drawn very easily but they had some difficulties in technical round like, like interviews and all so i so i thought that like, we need some practice for the interview so, yeah, so how you that. practiced like uh, you were following talent battle constantly right so yeah, yeah. did you uh, completed all the like uh, coding statements or all the aptitude questions that were during the live classes yeah yeah so i basically focused on live classes and also i like from dial battle there were many uh, like sessions for how to clear your interview like how to prepare for your interview what all questions could be asked and how to answer them in the correct order so yeah i prepared those type of question and really that helped me a lot like throughout my interview preparation and preparation of aptitude and coding round okay okay thanks a lot uh, like uh, we also appreciate your hard work because uh, talent battle can help you on how to prepare but uh, actually in, in actually you have to prepare right you have to put in your time and efforts also so it is all for your hard work and we were just guiding you and we are guiding all the students whosoever is a part of talent battle and once again sagar like i really want to congratulate you once again on getting placed into three mncs together and it would be fine like if you choose man mnc uh, that that can build your future right whichever you can choose now you have the options so and i would like to tell to the audience also like you can also be at the place of sagar where you can choose from multiple uh, options like whichever you want to opt for not the companies should ask like you but you can also ask the companies what are your uh, what is what they have for you so i am once like i am very feeling i am happy to listen your success story sagar and i i hope like our audience would also be very happy to hear about you yeah thank you very much i appreciate a lot okay so thank you sagar it was very nice talking to you i hope the audience has get the insight on how to clear the rounds and uh, what are the most important topics section wise topics we have told uh, in this video and uh, if anyone is left with any kind of information or wants a road map on how to get placed so they can just reach out to us on our official website www.talentbattle.in and can reach out to our mentors who will personally guide them and we do not charge anything for the personal mentorship so you can connect with our mentors they will guide you properly they will also give you the road map on how you can clear all the companies and what are the study techniques you must use preparation techniques to clear all your interviews so thank you once again everyone for watching this video